Do you guys want to open the public hearing? Yeah. So she can read the legal notice. Uh, yeah, I make a motion to uh, microphone. Let's turn on our microphone. Okay, I'll uh, make a motion to open the public hearing. May I have a I second? second All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, so the first public hearing is for the Big Indian Alivria Fire Department. So we're doing, that we're doing Gloria first. Gloria first. Gloria first, okay. Duque. Uh, for Gloria Duque. So first of all, you need to read the resolution. Thank you. Were there any respondents to the public hearing? Okay, that's easy. Is there anybody here to speak on this particular Silence always. Okay. Um, so the next uh, public hearing? Yeah, close this one and then wait till 645. Okay, motion to close this public hearing. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay. Next public hearing was scheduled for 6.45, so we have a few minutes to wait in the event that anybody shows up. Okay. One down. What is this one? No, it's Big Indian, right? Oh, that's the fire department. Mm -hmm. Easier for signature? Okay. Well, this is for the fence. Those are the two. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I'm about the She was walking down Main Street, made a turn up Church Street, and we were shadowing her in the car with my dog in the car. And we were going up the block, and she was just calmly walking, not skittish at all. I mean, we didn't go try to get her, because she was just hanging around. She yeah. looked healthy. I took a beautiful picture of her. Yeah, uh, we seen her up in uh, Chichester, where I am. And then apparently she ranged as far as Lanesville. So she's just and, and, pla and Plank Road also. I don't know what she's eating. I don't know, but she looked mighty healthy. Yeah. Uh, that's an exotic breed. That's a valuable dog. Cool. There was speculation that uh, she was abandoned. She was, right? Yeah. Wasn't she found tied up on a tree? Yeah. We're just hanging out. We're in the car with the dog. The dog, our dog was barking. She didn't care. Oh. She so went, we, we went all the way up to the church with her. Wow. Just she, just, she was just walking along. She, she looked selfie. She's a regular citizen. Okay.
property that it's only like three vehicles now on there. All chopped. Oh. Well, yeah. easier for the fire department. Olivia, are some of these in triplicate? They're all triplicate. So one for the county. I'm leaving it up to you guys to fill in whether denied or accepted. Yes, there are not my type of mind. They just need to sign it. Oh, okay.
feet. Ten feet, I'm sorry. Ten feet. All, the, all sorry, the inches are feet. I'm sorry, feet. <laughs> Your little miniature firehouse. Any respondents to the public hearing? Please step up. So, please first state your name. D Donald Clark. I reside at 16 Firehouse Road, okay. next door neighbor to the firehouse. Okay. Uh, as far as the variances go, uh, we have no issue. Uh, the fire department's been uh, a very good neighbor. Uh, they're being very considerate with uh, the, the existing fence, which we are very much appreciate. Uh, the only issue that we have at the present time, which is some other issues, but I, we have a, a, a severe drainage issue on the property and neighboring property below me. And I'm not sure if that's going to be addressed here because that's not part of the, the zoning variance. I understand that. but. Where do we address this issue with flooding? I have some current pictures if you'd like to look at it. We had heavy rain on July 11th. Yeah. Yeah, it was substantial, it was, it was quite a bit yeah. of rain, but they've, we've got ponding in my yard, ponding in their yard, and when they put a 60 by 60 impervious structure on that piece of property, and even with gutters, that water's gotta go someplace. It's gonna go either to the 28th side or the firehouse side. Firehouse Roadside, it needs to be addressed. And I've been in touch with John uh, Michelotti. We've, mm -hmm. we've talked, we have a handshake agreement that we both work together to come up with a plan to do this. But unfortunately, to come up with a plan, I think is gonna delay the project and I feel horrible about that. It pains me to have to do this, but there has to be a plan in place for drainage. Okay, you are the property to the East uh, on the on the John, would that be the north? My north side. Your property is the north side of the firehouse. Yes. So looking at the firehouse, which side? On the, on the left. On the, on the left. left side. So okay. Well, like I said, and and, and they, I, we totally understand. Heidi and I both understand that they need a firehouse, and we don't want to yeah. stop that. And and we'd like to have it on that piece of property. Mm -hmm. I think our property value is probably going to get hit a little bit, but. It's their property, that, uh, but I'm mm -hmm. concerned about this flooding part. It, it's, it's an issue, it's been an issue. And it's not just my issue, <laughs> it's the houses below me. The next house below me gets, gets railed for some reason. He, I mean, he, we get rain, his basement fills up. Yeah. I could keep up with, with the shop back. He needs <laughs> a pump, I mean, a pump yeah. to, to, to keep up with it. And now we're gonna have this 60 by 60 in previous structure. I'm assuming there's gonna be more blacktop that's going to increase the previous area on that piece of property, and I just believe it has to be addressed. And I need a, a direction of where to go. Like I said, I, I don't think this is what this meeting's for, but I have to bring it up. This is the first time we've had an opportunity to speak about it. If, okay. If, if, if John hadn't contacted me, he was nice enough to let me know that this was going on, but the rest of the community down below me, they have not been notified that this is going on. So. Yeah. The people who are notified are the adjacent property owners. Yes. Which would be you. But the, so, but the people below me are the ones who are going to get flooded. Understood. So are going to be impacted with right. the drainage issue. So is anybody here to speak to that issue or can? I can. Uh, Don and I have spoken. Don McLeod. You know, yeah. uh, come to the microphone so the public can hear you. Sure. John McLeod from the Big Indian Olive Rio Fire Company. Um, from someone who's had houses that flooded during rain, yep. uh, I can appreciate Don and Heidi's issues. I assured Don that 
we would put gutters, whatever it took, on the firehouse and either go to a dry well or to the drainage ditch, which is on state land, in the back to alleviate any issues with rain coming off the building. Okay. There will be no extra blacktop because the blacktop area that we now have for parking is going to be the apron of the building. So there's uh -huh. no additional. The only additional is what comes off the building. Half of that goes towards our existing firehouse. Half of it is going to go toward Don and Heidi's property. It's a peaked roof? Pardon? Peaked yeah, roof? Peaked roof. Okay. So if we put gutters and uh, snow fences on the roof, it, and we either go to a dry well or we go to the drainage ditch on the state, which is, that's what it's there for. Is that on 28, the drainage ditch? Yeah, just below 28. It should alleviate that issue. Now, part of the issue is the state never cleans out that ditch. So if we clean it out on our property, but it doesn't clean cleaned out further down, I can't be held responsible. Don admitted that even now the properties get flooded with no building. I, I assume that when we build our building, our remedial issues will at least somewhat alleviate the issues that we're having now in addition to whatever we bring off the building. Right. Um, if we're, we've been working on this project for f four or five years. Understood. We finally came to a point where we can, we can afford what we think we can build. If we have to go and hire engineers and delay the project because it's coming from a state grant and I'm not sure how long the state's going to keep up with us. Mm -hmm. It, it, it just may kill the project. What I told Don is, I give you my word that that any water coming off that building is not going to go into your basement. That's I can't do any more than that. Understood. Uh, as a property owner in the area, I certainly appreciate your concerns. the The issue before us is are the uh, area height and lot variances. So we, we actually have no authority nor no purview as to how to control drainage. So I think we'd have to leave that between the fire department and local property owners, which apparently is happening. We definitely want to work with the fire department with this. I, I, I think that maybe need professional, something professional to the size, the, the dry well, the amount of water coming off the roof. I, I, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm glad John's, and I did take John's hand on that. I agree with him that mm -hmm. I'm willing to work with him to help this out. I just, I, I question, and he said he'd take responsibility for it. But, uh, yeah, no, I need, so we can uh, do. You, you need a solution. I, I don't think the solution lies with. I, I, I expected that same. answer from you because yeah. we're not here for that. Right. But this is the first we've been notified that the building's going to be going on. They've been talking about it for years. Mm -hmm. And like I said, they need a building. I understand that. I have no trouble with location. It, it's fine. We, we, the variances they've asked for, they've been very considerate to us. Mm -hmm. But I, we're just concerned. And like I said, it's not just me. It's down below us. Right. So, it has to, and I understand he's, he's not responsible for cleaning the ditches down below, but they're going to add water to it. Yeah. So well, are, are we really adding water? The structure is, is, is in three phase to, to the wall of the water go into the ground. Right. So now it has to run off. So now it's going to run off and it's got to go someplace. Right. So we have an issue here already in the backyard. No sense of showing me pictures because, like I said, I understand this is not the board for me to be addressing. Mm -hmm. But do I, did, I guess when they go for a building permit and we get it there or? Just all of a sudden, with the for, 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 What's there now? Uh, just grass? It's just, grass. Yeah. Beautiful lawn. They, they keep it up nice. It's, it's, it's a nice, nice lot. Perfect spot for a firehouse. <coughs> but the issue right now is drainage. That's yeah. all. So. We want to move this permit ahead because they have 
construction schedules, which they want to get started, so we can make progress before winter. Can you see it sounds this? like if you could get the state to clean that trench out, that would probably alleviate the problem. Because yeah. they have a problem, a piece of property they don't clean the ditch out, and that they get some, they should be able to make clear that out. Yeah, how do we do that? How do we get the state well, they, to act? I guess the fire department. <laughs> Withhold taxes? All you need is one guy, the mini backhoe, knows how to operate it for one day, and the state doesn't care whether he was in his piece or not. <coughs> Yeah, that you know, just do it. Is that something you guys could take upon your own and just not tell anybody? I'm the exact same. Yeah. I don't know anybody that could do that. <laughs> that sounds like the, the cross, the gist of the problem. You just right do it. You know, you yeah. can't wait on the government to do everything. You just, you know, when you have a problem, just clean it out. I appreciate the fact that you're using this venue to air out the issue. Not much we can do. I, I'm, I don't see anything this in the purview of the zoning board that could solve the problem. And and, and this is a this is a community wide problem. Yeah, I, I, I totally get um, it. We're willing to work with John and get that just figured out. So, but hopefully, like I said, I, 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 I promise you. He promised it. I take John's word on it. Yeah. Okay. Essentially, going forward, should these variances be granted, they can come in tomorrow for the building permit application. At that point, Issues with the bill or the construction would be forwarded stuff for that. So I'm wondering in the building permit, if it would help you, not that this is the place for that, <coughs> said something about sure. what you were going to do for the drainage. I have no problem with that. Yeah. I can't better I don't know how to figure out how to drain Not being in the flood zone, you really can't require that's that. That's not the issue here. We, 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 we can't rule on state land. Yeah, uh, state land. You know, they said something about the drainage that would help the neighbors. And then going forward, should there be any issues going forward if things aren't being resolved appropriately, those sorts of complaints would also will go to the will go to for likely property maintenance bill violations. I mean, there's, yeah. there's ways to address this stuff. I don't want to. It's not the year. <laughs> but Donna, I don't. There are ways to sort of address these. But I don't think we can write into a building permit the a forcing the actions of the state government. No, I don't, no, I don't no. see any mechanism well, by which we do that. I, I think we just have to. That's, that's it. That's it. That, that's all we can suggest. Yeah. Uh, you guys had a handshake. Okay. End of discussion, I guess. You guys got to work work this out together. I totally understand the problem. I'm I'm a property owner in this community. Uh, it rains hard, and we're it's going to be raining harder in the future. So this is something that absolutely needs to be addressed. Do we rule on the hearing, sir? Uh, any other comments on on the public hearing for the fire department? Okay, I make a motion. We close the public hearing for the fire department. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so closed. So it's the minute, it's uh, almost 7 o'clock. We'll give it another minute and we'll open the uh, regular meeting. Was there any preference as to which, which appeal we should address first? Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with that. I empathize. <laughs> I would just go with pizza. Big Indian, two K, and yeah, Big okay. Indian first. So we're just going to grant it. That's all we have to do. Grant it. Go on it. Grant it. The two. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really. See the other. All right. Um, okay. Call the order, please. May we stand for the um, pledge of allegiance? The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, folks. Okay, so while we're on the topic, first order of business is a big Indian Alvaria Fire Company zoning variance. We have to do a roll call. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I screw this up every week. Okay. Roll call, please. Mark Lodi. Here. Gary Here. Alan Bella. Here. And uh, we're
were there any uh, amendments of last month's minutes? No. So Except I make a motion we accept the minutes as presented. I second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So accepted. Thank you. Uh, any other business that I forgot about? Okay, great. We well, move to the beginning of the fire and the variance. Um, so the <coughs> there was an area variance. Uh, one building is a bit closer to the other than the variance allowed. The issue there is uh, accessibility um, for the emergency services. And after all, you guys are the emergency services, so I don't see an issue there. Um, and there is there is a definite demonstrable need for the additional facility. Um, are, there, are there any objections to the requested variance? No. So I move we grant the variance as, as requested. I have a second? I second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Aye. Gary Kuklamet? Yes. Adam Bella? Aye. On the height. Okay. Is there any objection to that variance request? No. No. So I make a motion we grant the uh, height variance as requested. Second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Uh, so accepted. Roll call. Oh, sorry. Roll call. <laughs> I'll get this straight in three or four months. I promise. Aye. Yes. <laughs> Aye. Okay, variance granted as supply for. Thank you very much. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Good luck with your uh, construction schedule. Thank you. Gloria Duque. Uh, okay, next issue is Gloria Duque. Is, is she? Oh, that's you guys. Oh, okay. Um, and so the variance was defense. Put set that and due to the issue of the location of the house in proximity to the road. And uh, we did get a response from the Ulster County Planning Board and no county impact. Okay. Okay, and this is a compact neighborhood anyway. Um, do we have any objection to the variance? No. Nope. Defense location? No. No. I can't see any uh, impedance. The county has given us an okay for accessibility and right of way. So I make a motion we uh, approve the I make a motion we approve the variance as as requested. Second. All in favor? Yes. Oh no. sorry, roll, roll call. Aye. Yes. Aye. Okay, variance granted as requested. Thank you. Good, good luck with your grants. <laughs> hey folks, how was your water issue coming off the mountain there? You get a lot of water back there? We do. Yeah, you're right up against the mountain. Good luck. So No, I know it. I know the property. Impacted your your structure? Did, did your house get flooded? The basement? Yeah. Yeah, 
Well, all these structures age over time. It's, uh, we have a very old housing stock in this in this community, so this will be fun. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. So, so next issue, we have a new application for Cameron from Cameron Moulton. Uh, what, 18, is that, is that you, sir? I'm representing Oh, okay, could you please step up and ask what, what your, the variance you're requesting? Okay. My name is Joseph Eschino. I'm representing Cameron and Megan Moulton for 1811 Todd Road. In what regard are you the architect or the attorney? Um, I work with uh, Damien Delisio is the contractor, so none of them could be here, so I'm representing them into the property, checked it out. Okay. They are requesting, they are approaching seven feet into the 50-foot side setback. Um, they have a letter from the neighbor, I don't know if you have that, I have copies of it, saying that it's fine for them to proceed with work, that they don't mind going seven feet into 50 foot setback and um, they're just worried they're going through the process for the variance they're just worried that with construction cost and everything rising and she just found out she was pregnant that they are going to be in the midst of winter and doing construction mm -hmm. if not later so I know that they are requesting for a letter that they can proceed with some of the work as they're putting in uh, techno tubes and it's really the only area for them to really build. I have plans in the letter. I don't know if you have any of that, but I can show you. We have a plot plan here. Okay. Yeah, so it's a three acre lot. Um, seems like a no brainer. Yeah, that's here. Yeah. But we um, do have to have a public hearing. We do have to have a public hearing. So we're obligated by law to have a public hearing. We notify all the adjacent landowners and give them an opportunity to express an opinion, yay or nay. Yep. So we are obligated to do that. Uh, so I make a motion we hold a public hearing for uh, Cameron Bolton, 1811 Todd Mountain Road for the August meeting. I second that. You have a second? 16. August 15th. 16th. August 15th? 16th. One six. August 16th. Okay, public hearing August 16th for the zoning board meeting. Um, all in favor? Yes. Yeah, I. Roll call. <laughs> do we need roll call for that one? They no. can't really, there's nothing they can do for you as far as when you start the work prior to the variance. It's not, it's, 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 I don't believe the board. No, just, no, technically you should not start construction. Some people do, but you're not supposed to. No, they haven't, they've just cleared it. There was a deck that was in place there, so uh -huh. all they've done was just it was in poor shape anyways, and they just wanted to see if they can start, even though they would follow through. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we can't say that. Uh, this would seem like a no-brainer from our point of view, but you didn't hear that. Um, so, yes, if people start construction before they get an approval, they are at risk. Yeah, absolutely. Understood. That, that should be understood. All right. So, all right, see you August 16th. Perfect. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, any, any other business on the agenda? No? Short and sweet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I make a motion we adjourn the meeting. Second. Second, all in favor. All right. All right. Meeting so adjourned. Thank you, folks. Short and sweet. Gary wants to chair the meeting that lasted seven minutes. And you get to beat it. <laughs> Damn. Seven minutes. Gary, you got to chair again. Okay, big Indian, go to decay. Yeah, all right, yeah. Alan, keep that under 90 miles an hour, dude. Keep that under 90 miles an hour. We're going to see you here next month. All right, can I get a ride sometime?
here's all the signatures. So one goes to the county.